Good morning. Good morning, folks, ladies, and gentlemen. Welcome to the Kiva Advancement Podcast. I am your host, Miss Coco Bowden, this morning, and it is 1 17 a.m. And we're broadcasting out of Candor, North Carolina. And it is 83 degrees with a gentle breeze. Mm-mm. And I tell you the honest truth. I am sitting out here in it. And I am loving it and enjoying it. So I was thinking, y'all. It's funny how, you know, people can come into our paths. And we don't know If they're in our past for good intentions or bad intentions, we just don't know all the time. So we shouldn't be judgmental of why a person all of a sudden pops up or why a person all of a sudden leaves out of our lives. You know, this is just a part of life. And there are people that are assigned that are assigned to help us get through our journey through our journey, this journey thing called life. I have came across so many people that I wish that I could have just said thank you to. And I didn't say thank you because at the time, you know, I was just too full of myself and too full of the world. But I know better now. So when I meet people now, I'm like, thank you. If they did me justice, if they didn't do me justice, I still say thank you because either they're a lesson or a blessing. And I try to look at everybody as a blessing. That's what I do. But what I'm really thinking about when I say crossing paths is yesterday I took my granddaughters to the movies. And we watched The Wizard of Oz. And I'm an adult now. And very, very into details now. More than I've ever been. I guess it's something about them 40s. (laughs) Something about them 40s that are just, you know, kind of make you pay more attention to your surroundings and the things that you take in and the people that are around you and stuff. So this is what happened. I'm watching the movie and I'm like, wow, when it gets to the end of The Wizard of Oz, you know, we, we look at this as a child's movie and But this movie has so much of what's going on in real life. And I try to encourage people to encourage other people. Hey, look, if you're up to you're feeling up to it, go ahead and encourage somebody else. So what I noticed about the Wizard of Oz is that we had Dorothy and she met the Tin Man. Well, she met the Scarecrow first, then the Tin Man and the Lion. And all of them had something that they wanted from the wizard. They all wanted something. Dorothy wanted to go home. The scarecrow wanted um, a brain. The tin man, he wanted a heart. And the lion, he wanted courage. So as she met each one of them, each one of them gave something to her journey. They gave something to her journey to help her get to the place where she needed to be, which was her home. So when we meet people, we just never know what part they will play in our lives. The scarecrow, he he met her and he didn't have a brain, but yet he was one of the smartest ones. He was the smartest one of all three of them. He didn't have a brain, but, you know, he 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 had logic. <laughs> he didn't have a brain, but he helped her navigate through. He protected her. The tin man, he didn't have a heart. But that silly man was always crying. It seemed like that man cried through the whole movie. <laughs> but the tin man, he had emotions. He had feelings. And he brought those to Dorothy, which allowed Dorothy to show her compassion for others. It allowed Dorothy to grow as she was going on. And then there was the lion. He lacked courage. He lacked courage because he kept speaking down on himself. 
And, you know, <laughs> one of the funniest parts about it was when he pulled his own tail in. <laughs> And he got scared of his own tail. And that's how we do sometimes, y'all. Sometimes we lack heart. We lack courage. And we lack just using our logic brain. We lack using our brain. And we just come off the top of our head with stuff and don't think. We, we think. We overthink sometimes and sometimes we don't think enough. But the point is. No matter where you're at in life, you got to hang in there. You're not going to be smart on everything. You're not always going to have heart to everything. And it's good that you don't always have heart to everything because that's one thing that the Bible teaches us is to guard our hearts. So it's good that you don't always have a heart for everything. And, you know, and our courage comes from inside. It comes in from what we believe in. That's where our courage comes from. And I found that if in your heart you really got God down in there and you got those scriptures in there helping you go through, that you can make it. You can make it. And God will place people along the way. Little people here and there. They may not they might not stay long. They might not even hold significant value in the relationship or friendship. But point is, those people are, are placed there for a reason. They'll make you think, they'll push you to do better. Some might even push you to do bad, you know. But we have to be thankful for all the people that are placed in our lives. We never know who is coming to push us to our destiny, who is helping us along with our purpose. So you got to be careful how you treat people. If Dorothy had been bad to those people, but Dorothy was open hearted, she was like, y'all come on, y'all come with me. I'm going to the wizard. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to the wizard so I can get home. If he can get me home, then he can help y'all too. So that's what I'm going to tell y'all. Look, I ain't going to no wizard, but I'm going to God in prayer. If God can get me through this and that, then he can get you through too. One thing about God is he is a God that cannot lie. So he don't lie. So you, the people that he placed in your path, believe him. When he says there's some people I'm sending to help you, believe that your help is on the way. And they, they all kind of touched and agreed. They didn't straight out say they touched and agreed, but you can tell by the way they fought together and they walked together and they talked the same talk. They was in alignment with their assignment. They was in alignment with what they needed from the wizard. So you have to get in line with what you need from God. God knows what you can handle. And I, you know, I'm just all, I'm just all up excited about it because it blessed me to realize that I can look back over my years and I'm 40 years old now and I started young at 15. So I can look back over my years and see the little people who came along in my life to help me along the way when I couldn't find my way, when I lost my direction, it was people that was placed in my path. That said, this is the way you need to go. If they didn't say this is the way I needed to go, hey, if if I felt like they was right, I followed them whichever way they went until I found my way. So I'm telling you, God, God is just awesome in the things that He's doing for you. You have to really be thankful for it. The people that he's placing in your life, even down to little kids. A lot of times adults want to shut kids out. They want to shut kids out and they don't want to hear what kids got to say. And as we were going down the road, um, my daughter said something <laughs> and it kind of tickled me. I was saying I was talking about something and I said, Okay, now, Leah, now, I told my granddaughter, I said, you don't want to go back and repeat that now, because I was talking about something personal in my life, and and her her mama said, my daughter said, she said, stay in a child's place, keep your ears to yourself, and then I, I started laughing, I said, wait a minute, <laughs> hold up, this child and taught me something, how can we sit there and tell children to close their ears when we're sitting right there beside them. They can't just close their ears. We're sitting right there beside them talking. So whether we tell them to close their ears or not, it's going to go in them whatever we're saying. 
So we, you know, those little people are there to push us too. They're there to keep us on our toes. Cause if we are saying the wrong things around them, then they're going to take that stuff in and, and go spreading it out somewhere. God knows where, but it, it just taught me a lesson to pay attention to the people that I'm also around, the people who are here that help me, because my granddaughters help me. My granddaughters help me. They are my life, my strength, and joy. I, I tell you, I just love those little girls, and there's five of them. So whenever we all get together, we have a ball. Those are my pushers. Those are my cheerleaders. Those are my encouragers, and those are the ones that pray for me. So... You know, it's it's amazing that even God will put little people in your path to push you. But you got to be careful what you put out on them. We can't expect those children to have closed ears if they're sitting right beside us. Duh. <laughs> but it was a blessed day at the movies. And The Wizard of Oz just woke me up to realize that although people don't look like us and don't act like us they may be on the same path as us god may have them on our path so if we cross paths and even if we don't stay long you know get the best out of it make the best out of it don't don't overthink things and certainly you know don't put uh, a assume that people are always out to get you not everybody is out to get you try the spirit by the spirit right that's it. You try people. You try people and see who they are. And when they show you, believe them. <laughs> so that that was awesome. That was awesome, though. So I just want to encourage somebody that, listen, God is going to put some people in your path. He is going to put some people in your path. And they may not all be good. But look, some do have some good parts about them. You take the good parts and work with it. And let God handle the rest. If you got some encouragers in your life, you be thankful to them. Do little small random acts of kindness. You know, people don't even say thank you anymore. They'll, they'll hop in your car, you give them a ride. They don't even say thank you anymore. They'll ask you for something and you give it to them. They don't say thank you anymore. You know, it comes back to getting back into mannerism. We have to have manners. We got to have manners. Men and women do not have manners no more. So therefore, we're, we're raising children without manners. So whenever good people do come in our life, we don't appreciate them. Ain't that some junk? <laughs> I mean, seriously, we have we have a whole generation of children without manners, without manners. They're just running around here loose, just butt naked, loose. They don't have any manners. They don't say, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. None of that. And that's because the grown folks don't either. So we got to realize that we're putting people paths, too. We're putting people's paths and we have to be setting a good example for the especially these kids. These kids out here, we have to set a good example for them. So not only are people put in our paths, but we are put in their paths as well. So when we do cross paths, be the best you you can be. Have manners. Be thankful. Be grateful. You know, the spirit of being grateful will cause you to move. Move and do more random acts of kindness. It'll, it'll make you want to show more love to people. You know, so, so you know, you just... Do the um best that you can. You don't have to be extra. You don't have to be bougie or anything like that. But have manners and respect the people that God places in your life. Sometimes we won't like it. Especially we have people who uh, are bad about just speaking the truth on us. Ugh. I remember one season God placed a person in my life to speak nothing but truth to me. And I couldn't stand them. But I'll tell you what. Mm. by the end of that season, I was appreciative. I appreciated them. I was like, dog, I needed that. That's what I needed to push me through. I needed that to push me through. And that's all I got for y'all for tonight. Well, it ain't really all I got for you, but that's about all I'm going to say. <laughs> Besides, just love the people that come that you come in contact with. And I want to say congratulations to myself on my weight loss journey. I w I've been 